subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is biodiversity now, biodiversity this refers to the totality of genes species and ecosystem of a region means the sum total of all genes the different types of species and the different types of ecosystem of a region earth has a wide variety of plant and animal life and even numerous microorganisms now these microorganisms are not visible to the naked eye occurrence of different kinds of organisms reflects the biological diversity now there are more than 2000 species of ants 30000 species of beetles 28000 species of spider and nearly 20000 species of orchids now presence of a species in a region is determined by the environmental conditions of the region and the range of tolerance of the species now it is due to this that the biodiversity of different regions is different now diversity exists not only at species level but also at all levels of the biological orga organization that is from the macromolecules within the cell to the biomes biodiversity is of three types genetic diversity species diversity and ecosystem or ecological diversity genetic diversity it is variations of genes within a species now it could be an allele an entire gene or even a chromosome genetic diversity enables a population to adapt to its environment and respond to natural selection now the species with more diversity more genetic diversity can adapt better to the changed environmental conditions a species with more genetic diversity can adapt better to the changed environmental conditions and the genetic variations or the genetic diversity is the basis of speciation that is formation of new species and it all plays an important role in maintaining diversity at the species and the community level the genetic diversity within a species increases with environmental 
variability. Genetic diversity will increase with changes in environment. An example of genetic diversity is a genetic variation shown by Rauwolfia vomitoria. Now it is a medicinal plant growing in the different regions of Himalayas. The variation, the genetic variation seen might be due to the strength and concentration of an active chemical produced by the plant that is reserpin. India has more than 50,000 genetically different strains of rice and about 100 varieties of mangoes. Next is species diversity. That is diversity at species level. Now species play an important or a distinct role in an ecosystem. Now the measure of species diversity is species richness. That is number of species per unit area. Now in nature the number and kind of species and even the number of individuals per species they vary leading to greater diversity. Now the western ghats of India have a greater amphibian diversity than the eastern ghats. And last, ecological diversity, that is diversity at the ecosystem level. Now before going to the ecosystem diversity, let's go through community diversity. Now community diversity are of different levels. One is alpha diversity. Alpha diversity is diversity of organisms sharing a same community or a same habitat. Like all the animals and plants found in this particular region they belong they form the alpha diversity now as the habitat changes species also changes next is beta diversity beta diversity is dif diversity seen between different communities now the trees plants and animals seen in this habitat will be completely different to the one present in this habitat so difference in species composition of communities can be seen along the environmental gradient. Like as we move higher to the altitude, we will find at each different altitude there are different plants and animals. So beta diversity means difference in species com composition of different communities. And third is gamma diversity of a region means diversity of habitat over the total geographical area or a landscape means the species diversity at this region is different from this this is different from these and so on. So diversity of habitats around the total geographical area forms the gamma diversity of the region. 
ecosystem diversity includes the number of niches tropic levels and the various ecological processes that can sustain energy flow food web and recycling of nutrients now the greater the diversity the more productive and the more stable are the communities diverse communities are functionally more productive and stable even under environmental stresses now the more the habitats or the ecosystems of a region means the more diverse it is so the number of habitats or ecosystem present in a region is the measure of biodiversity india has a greater ecosystem diversity than a scandinavian country like norway it consists of deserts rainforest mangroves coral reefs estuaries wetlands alpine meadows grasslands so the india has a great variety or diversity of ecosystems the most biodiversity rich zones of india are the western ghats and the north east now western ghats account for only 4% of the geographical area while the north east accounts for about 5% of the geographical area of india it takes millions of years for evolution to occur and accumulate such rich diversity but this diversity can be lost in just two centuries if the present rate of species loss continues biologically rich and unique habitats are being destroyed broken down degraded due to increase in human population competition for resources and pollution loss of diversity checks the evolutionary capabilities of the organisms or the species to cope with the environmental changes that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching